Yo guys, how's it going? And today we're going to be doing a different video. We're not going to be doing a games collecting video. We're actually going to be doing a games update video. Um, so these are the games that I've purchased since January 2016 this year. And yeah, so we've got 9 PS3, 6 PS4 games, 15 games in total, guys. And yeah, first we'll be starting off with the PS3, so here we go. Uh, Battlefield Bad Company Gold Edition. Um, I got this from CX, £3. Pretty cool. Always like Battlefield games. Always, always like them. And uh, yeah, so £3. Can't go wrong, especially for a Gold Edition game. I mean, most Gold Edition games are pretty expensive, let's be honest. And yeah, it comes with poster. I'm not going to open that one up. Uh, folder. And... I think that's it. Oh yeah, and the C three pounds. So that's it. I haven't actually played this game just yet, um, but I'm pretty pumped to play it. Uh, I will do soon though. Just want to get around, like when I get some time around to. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Can't wait to play that one. Uh, I'll give that one actually a. Uh, well, I can't really rate it actually. No, I can't rate that one, guys. Cause I haven't played it. Alright, so the next game, FIFA 08, 20p from CX, it's completed my whole P uh, FIFA collection on PS3, so I'm pretty happy about that, I mean 20p, come on guys, like, you can't go wrong, 20p, just no, <laughs> we, we, we had to get it, it's completed the whole collection now on PS3, so happy I got that, I only realised like a week ago that we needed this one to complete the whole collection, so, uh, so yeah. FIFA 08 though, I haven't even tried this one yet, but I do remember playing it on Xbox, so yeah. I heard the servers are practically dead. <laughs> uh, next game, Kane and Lynch Dead Men. Um, I haven't even played this one either yet, but it looks really good. I've wanted this game for quite a while, it was £2. Um, so yeah, it looks pretty cool. It's like GTA, but more of a campaign only. Thing. I think, I don't know if you can play, yeah, you can play online. You can play multiplayer online, but let's be honest, I don't think anyone's on there. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, I don't think anyone's on that. But yeah, I haven't even played it yet, so I can't make that one yet, guys. Uh, next game, LA Noir. This game I have played before, um, but I recently just purchased it again because it's just such an awesome game. Um, it's like, it is a Rockstar game, so... People that made GTA, if you don't know, uh, it's like 1940s background. Yeah, so 1940s. Uh, you're based in America, and there isn't actually any online. It's only campaign, where it's so it's one player. Um, but it's still pretty cool. Um, I nearly did actually complete it before I traded it in before, and I think that that I needed to complete was like two more missions, and that was it. So I played the hell out of that one. Oh yeah, so uh, rating that one, I'd give it a decent 8 out of 10, you know, it's a pretty cool detective kind of game. Next game, Motorstorm Pacific Rift. Uh, this game was sick, this is the first one that, like, first racing game I played uh, on PS3. Uh, as you, If you have watched my PS3 game collection video, you will know that I don't really like racing games, but this game I thought it was really cool to be fair, because like, you could like be motorbikes, you could, like, you could drive motorbikes, uh, just normal cars, even monster trucks, you know, so it was pretty awesome. Uh, it was 12 players online, and you could even just play with people at home, like 4 people I think. So yeah, it's a pretty awesome game. I don't know why it's a 16 though, I guess because, like, the squishing of the cars and stuff, but yeah. Like if you were a monster truck, you could like literally squash buggies and stuff, so it was really awesome. Um, but yeah, I, I don't really like to rate racing games, but I guess I'll just give it a 7 out of 10 average, really. Uh, next game, UEFA Euro uh, 2008. This game I got for 50p uh, in CEX again. I thought, why not? Go to the collection. I've actually wanted this game for quite a long time for some reason. Um, the trouble is though guys, I've tried playing it and well, let's just say it didn't work out because I put it in the PS3 and it just it just came up black on the screen, just, it was just a black screen. So I think this game is practically, yeah, it just doesn't work. I might buy another copy sometime, 
uh, if it's cheap enough, I guess. Maybe it's just a dodgy, uh, dodgy co uh, copy, I don't know, maybe, I don't know. But yeah, it doesn't work, so I can't even rate it, but it looks really fun. But that's a shame. Perch Tennis 4, £3 from CX again. Practically all these guys are from CX, but the other, like, others are from game. Um, but yeah, so this is £3. This game I did also have before, but I've literally just bought it again because it was awesome. £3 tennis game. You know, this game, I know what you're thinking. Oh, it's tennis. It's got to be boring. It's really not boring. It's actually so fun. You can do uh, you can do world tour challenges and stuff. So you can play online. It's really fun. I mean, like, they, I think they have another one. It's called Grand Slam Tennis 2, I think. And I wanted to get that one, but that one's like ten pound, and I really would pay that for a tennis game. But still, but it's really awesome. Graphics aren't actually that bad, to be fair. So yeah, I'll give this one a decent out of eight out of ten. Double O Seven Quantum of Solace. This game is sick. I used to have Goldeneye. Double uh, O Seven Reloaded. I've always liked Double O Seven games, to be honest. Um, I like the whole fact of when you like. When you're walking around, it's third. It is third person, but then when you're in cover, it's like first person like that. So it's pretty awesome. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, I like it. It's pretty awesome. Good game. I give it eight out of ten. Average. I mean, the graphics aren't actually that bad considering it came out in like let's see, two thousand and eight. So yeah, it's a pretty old game. It's eight years old now. So the last game on the PS3s. Uh, update is the 2014 FIFA World Cup Brazil this game is £2.50 and I mean that's it I think we practically have the full FIFA collection now um, on my PS3s so that's pretty awesome £2.50 I played it now I like the whole fact where you can win the World Cup which is so fun um, but I don't know like compared to FIFA 14 it feels a lot more slower, and the graphics don't seem as good. I don't know, maybe it's just me, I don't know. Maybe it's just different developers. I don't know, but it just doesn't feel the same. I don't know, but it's still a really good game. A decent, let's say... Um, i give it a 7 out of 10, because you know, it's not as good as FIFA 14, I don't feel. So, uh, so now we're moving on to the PS4 games. Uh, we've actually got 6 here. Um, so yeah. First game, Battlefield Hardline. Uh, this game was uh, £20. Yeah, £20 I got this from game. Um, now, I prefer Battlefield 4. Um, as this... I, I don't know if I really like the cops and robbers kind of stuff. I like the normal just based shooting kind of stuff, you know. So, still good campaign, really good campaign. On the last mission, I kind of did get stuck, but I realised that it was glitched, so, yeah. But it's a really cool game. The trophies are actually really hard to get on the campaign, like, there's one on there that's a silver, and it's just, like, you have to shoot him whilst in mid-air, like, shoot these two guys. So it's a bit of an, it's a bit of annoying one, the trophies on here. But yeah, Battlefield Hardline, 7 out of 10, not as good as Battlefield 4. Next game... Call of Duty Black Ops 3, uh, I didn't actually get this on launch day, but I got it like a month after it came out. Uh, everyone knows Black Ops 3, let's be honest. Um, it's not. I don't really like it that much, I mean zombies, I'm not enjoying the zombies at all. The multiplayer is cool, but you do get killed a lot more now. Uh, wall running I use, I guess. But campaign as well. Uh, now campaign's only going to be on next gen consoles, so I feel sorry for the people that can't get next gen. But campaign, the campaign wasn't that good, let's be honest. I, I didn't like the campaign at all. So, I don't like the whole futuristic thing, but Black Ops 3, 8 out of 10, average Call of Duty game. But I still prefer the old ones. Uh, FIFA 16, as you know, big FIFA fan here. <laughs> um, but we did get the deluxe edition, got 40 premium gold packs on, on the team. Um, so yeah, cool game. Everyone knows FIFA. Like I said before in the other videos, you can't really rate FIFAs. Um, other than, I mean, the graphics are a lot better. Um, players turning and dribbling and stuff feels a lot more better. 
Um, yeah, so, yeah, I like it. It's definitely an improvement from FIFA 15, a big, big difference. Ultimate Team, like, card designs are so much more better, so, yeah. Uh, I'd give this 9 out of 10. It still needs more improvements, obviously, with FIFA, but, yeah, awesome. Uh, Knack, this game I got for, like, £10. Um, this was a cool game. Still haven't actually completed it, because I do have, like, the last mission. I think it's a bonus mission. Um, I mean, it's just, it's kind of annoying because you kind of have to keep opening chests and get relics and whatnot, you know. Uh, but it's kind of cool though, like, if you want to play, if you're really bored at home and someone's there with you, just play this with them. It's awesome to play it, but if you're playing it on your own, it's not as fun. Um, it's kind of a kid's game, really, let's be honest, but it's alright. I don't see how it's a 12, really, because there's not really any violence, really, but you know. Star Wars Battlefront, this game I got uh, for full price, £50 when it came out, uh, I'd never pay this, I'd definitely not recommend anyone buying this for £50, it is not worth £50, max I'd say this is worth is about £30, maybe £35, uh, they are actually bringing out more DLC, so we have one new DLC on it called Outer Rim, but I'm not going to hate on the game, I mean it's a good game, good game, but it's kind of annoying how like, it's hard to find the Manelian Falcon and Darth Vader and whatnot. It's it's kind of hard and annoying. But I mean I've only been Darth Vader like once. I had the Manelian Falcon once. Um so yeah, it's not it's it's a cool game, but again, dice, same make as a battlefield. Uh it's definitely not better than Battlefield, let's be honest. Uh so yeah. But I'll give it for graphics wise, on point. The graphics are on point. But I'd give it 8 out of 10. There's a lot of game modes on uh, Star Wars Battlefront as well, which is pretty cool. The last game, Tom Clancy's The Division. I also got this game full price, £50. Um, I hoped a lot more. I mean, I got this because all my friends were playing it. Uh, but now my friends have started to get bored of it, so now I'm kind of stuck on my own. But I don't want to just spend £50 and waste it, so, you know. I thought I might as well play it. Get as much out of it as I can, and uh, yeah, I like the whole fact of the dark zone where you can like, kind of get like new weapons and attachments and whatnot. Cool game. Um, so yeah, cool game, awesome, sick. I'll give this a nine out of ten. Graphics are on point. It's just the only issue is playing on your own. It's not as fun, but you. To, it's one of those games, guys, where you need to play multiplayer to get the get the fun out of it. But yeah guys, um, hope you've enjoyed the video, please don't forget to smash the like button, don't forget to comment below, and if you want, don't forget to subscribe. So yeah, thanks for watching, see you.